Rhino Carbon Fiber has done it again with a new concrete repair product, the Concrete Crack Lock. Use it to reinforce cracks and stop them from spreading. Grind across the surface of the crack, ensuring it's smooth. Lay out the first concrete crack lock as close to the beginning of the crack as possible. Center the concrete crack lock over the crack and trace the outline. Then place the concrete locks every 8 to 12 inches. Vary the angle slightly to reinforce the crack in all directions. After clearly marking where each concrete crack lock goes, you're ready to start cutting. Using your tuck point grinder, saw, or other cutting tool, make the cuts across the crack. While the depth of the cut can vary, be sure to cut a minimum of a half inch deep. Also be sure the cut is the full depth from end to end. Once the cutting is complete, drill holes at the ends with a half inch bit, ensuring that they're properly spaced to accept the concrete crack locks. Use a shop vac or other appropriate method to remove all loose debris and clean out the area. Also ensure that each concrete crack lock fits properly into each prepared area before applying any epoxy. Fill the cut and holes with Rhino's high strength epoxy paste. Insert into the cut the stronger than steel Rhino carbon fiber crack lock. Top off the cut with more epoxy paste until it's even with your concrete surface and scrape away any excess epoxy. Apply it elsewhere on the crack or to the next crack lock location. Repeat as necessary. If the epoxy paste settles in the prepared area, you can add more to the cuts and you can grind excess epoxy with your grinder once it is cured. You can also paint or seal over the repair after everything is dried and been cleaned up. Additional questions? Contact us online at rhinocarbonfiber.com or call our toll-free customer service line at 888-684-3889.